Hello students and welcome to our engine failure during takeoff roll execution video. Before we jump into the cockpit let's quickly discuss the objective of this maneuver and some key factors that we will be focusing on. The objective of this maneuver is to develop the skills necessary to maintain positive control of the airplane and bring it to a safe stop on the runway or overrun after experiencing an engine failure during the takeoff roll. In this maneuver execution video, we will not be covering detailed aerodynamics, maneuver diagrams, common student errors, or the ACS standards. This video is to simply explain and demonstrate the execution of the maneuver and will vary based on the aircraft you are flying. To see all the additional details we just mentioned and to study this lesson's full length presentation, podcast, diagrams, flashcards, lesson quiz, and a whole bunch more, look up the engine failure takeoff roll lesson on our website at wifi.cfi.com. Lastly, before we jump into the cockpit, there are a couple of key factors that we need to cover regarding this maneuver. Today, we will be experiencing an engine failure during the takeoff roll in a Diamond DA-62. This maneuver is simple and straightforward. As we are rolling down the runway, maintaining center line and our wind correction and everything like that, just like a normal takeoff, we will experience an engine failure. As soon as this occurs, we will immediately reduce both throttles to idle and use the brakes and rudder pedals to maintain positive control of the airplane, keep it moving straight ahead down the runway, and bring it to a safe and complete stop. When simulating this maneuver in an actual airplane, your flight instructor or checkride examiner may simulate the engine failure by using the mixture, the throttle, fuel shutoff valve, it could be a whole bunch of uh, different things that they could use to simulate this engine failure during the takeoff roll. Regardless, the procedure remains the same. As soon as the engine failure occurs and you feel the aircraft start to yaw, you're going to immediately close both throttles. Do not attempt to try and figure out which engine has failed by only reducing one throttle or the other. Don't try to see if it was your left or your right and just reducing one or the other. Simply close them both. You're going to take both throttles, your hand should already be on the throttles because we're doing a takeoff. You're going to take both of them, immediately bring them back closed, get your feet, well your feet should already be on the rudder pedals, right? But using the rudders to stay on center line, stay moving down the runway, and then use your brakes to come to a nice safe stop. So we'll cover the rest during the flight. Let's head out to the airplane and show you how this maneuver works. All right, students, welcome out to our airplane where we're going to do this very short quick demonstration of an engine failure during the takeoff roll. Before we do it, we just kind of want to show you where we're set up, uh, how we've got the airplane configured, everything like that. We're on our runway. Uh, let's go ahead and hop in the cockpit. We can show you we've got our heading bug for our departure heading. We've got our initial altitude bug. We're going to assume that we've already done all of our checklists up to this point, you know, such as the pre-takeoff checklist, the run-up checklist, everything like that. We've gotten our clearance from ATC. So we've turned around here. We've rolled on to the runway. We have things like our parking breaker off um, and everything is ready for this takeoff. So pretty simple. What we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and start to accelerate down the runway as if we're going to take off. We'll go ahead and simulate an engine failure. Now I'm going to let the engine failure go a little bit longer than you probably would in real life just so I can demonstrate it. You can see it a little better here on the flight simulator. In real life you'll be able to feel the airplane start to swerve and immediately you'll bring both throttles back to idle and uh, use your rudder pedals and brakes to come to a stop. Here you can kind of see it right at first but I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer just so you can really see the yaw before I bring both throttles back to idle. Okay so in real life you're gonna want to do this quite a bit quicker than I'm gonna do it here but the reason I'm extending it out is so that you can see how dramatized that yaw can become. So again super simple as soon as you feel the yaw dead engine we're just going to bring both throttles back to idle, get on the rudders and the brakes, keep the airplane going down the runway safely, and bring her to a stop. All right, go ahead and bring our throttles up. Engine gauges are all looking good. We are rolling down the runway. I'm not going to let the plane get too fast. We'll maybe just kind of let the airspeed start to come alive. So there's our airspeed alive. So there's an engine failure. There's that yaw. Get on the rudder pedals and the brakes. Nice and easy to start to creep the airplane back towards the center line and obviously at this point you would go ahead and tell ATC that you had your engine failure. Again pretty basic just get on it quickly maintain positive control of the airplane keep it on the runway and bring it to a safe stop. 
that's it for this one guys thank you for joining us again on this very short video and we'll have more multi-engine videos coming up pretty soon